Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we learn how to work with an absorption column in DWSIM. In this tutorial, we'll define an absorption column. We'll simulate an absorption column using Cape Open Unit operation. For this simulation, we'll be using the following example. The streams are absorbent oil and feed gas, and we have the process parameters given to us. Peng Robinson is the thermodynamic package and the following mole fraction values will be used. First, let us open the DWSIM application. Click on create new for a new steady state simulation. Click next to continue. From the given list of chemical compounds, let us search and select the compounds required for the simulation. Methane, ethane, propane, n-butane, n-pentane and n-dodecane have been selected. Now click on next. From the available property packages, select Peng Robinson and add the property package. Click on next and finally change the system of units to C5 and click on finish. First, let us introduce a material stream. Select the stream and change the object name to absorbent oil. Now, select the flash algorithm as nested loops VLE and go to the compound amounts tab. Let us change the mole fraction values of all the compounds in absorbent oil as per the question. Once the values are entered, click on accept changes. Now go back to the stream conditions, change the temperature value to 32 degrees Celsius the pressure to 28 bar and the mass flow to 12,750 kilogram per hour. Similarly, let us introduce another inlet material stream. Change the name of this stream to feed gas. Change the flash algorithm to nested loops VLE. Now, under the compound amounts tab, Change the mole fraction value of methane to 0.2, ethane to 0.4625, propane to 0.3, n-butane to 0.03125, n-pentane to 0.00625 and finally n-dodecane is 0. Click on accept changes and you can see that the total is now equivalent to 1. Now let us go back to the stream conditions. Change the temperature value to 41 degrees Celsius, the pressure is 28 bar and the mass flow is 11,840 kg per hour. Now let us introduce two outlet material streams. Name one stream as lean gas and name the other stream as rich oil. Now let us introduce the Cape Open Unit operation. So under the Cape Open tab, drag and drop the Cape Open Unit operation. You see that a new window has appeared. So select ChemSep and click on OK. And you find that a new object has been introduced. Click on the object. And now the Cape Open Unit operation window appears. On this toolbar, Click on the Open Cape Open Object Editor and you see that a new window has appeared. First, let us change the unit name to Absorption Column. Select the operation as Simple Absorber or Stripper and enter the number of stages as 6. And select the units as SI. Now change the pressure value to 275, 7906, 
newton per meter square which is approximately equivalent to 28 bar and select the thermo as temp set now click on ok you see that a new window has appeared first let us close this window and you see another pop-up window appearing the problem says specification is incomplete do you want to save the current input in absorption column so we click on no now we have to connect all the material streams to our unit operation so under the connections tab and under the inlet select feed to stage 6 as feed gas and feed 1 stage 1 as absorbent oil similarly go to the outlet tab select the top product as lean gas and the bottom product as rich oil and you can see that all the connections have been made now click on the open cape open object editor once the window appears go to the properties tab and select the K value as EOS and the equation of state as Peng Robinson 76. So you have a new pop up window here. Selection of new EOS model will reset model parameters continue. So we'll click on yes and use consistent EOS to compute enthalpy. We again click on yes. Now we have to load the thermodynamic parameters so click on the load tab below and you see that the load interaction parameters tab will open. Now select the pr.ipd file and click on open. The available parameters for Peng Robinson thermodynamic package will appear. Click on the load button. Since there are no reactions involved, we no need to specify any other uh, properties. So under the specifications uh, option on your left hand side, click on the pressure and select the column pressure as constant pressure and make sure that the top pressure is the same value that you entered before. Now below the units option, click on the solve options and you can see that a new set of properties have appeared. The initialization remains automatic. Under method, select method as 2 pass ideal k plus constant h first from the drop down list. Since all the required values have been entered, we can solve the cape open flow sheet by clicking on the run button on the top left hand side corner. And it says input is ok. So click on OK and another pop-up window appears. So click on Yes and that's when the simulation will be solved. You can see that the Cape Open Unit operation has been solved as shown below. So this window is nothing but the values or the simulated Cape Open Unit operation. Click on Done and you can see that the results is present in this window where the various uh, streams and the pressure, the vapor fraction, the temperature values have been calculated. Now let us close the scape open window. Now let us try running the flow sheet. So click on solve flow sheet or you can also press the F5 button. You can see that the streams have changed color from red to blue which means that the flow sheet has been successfully run. You can check the mass flow, the uh, mole fraction values by clicking on the outlet uh, material streams. And first let us insert the master property table. So I'm going to select all the material streams and the properties that I wish to be displayed on this simulation environment. So 
So when you close the window, you find that a master property table has been generated right next to the flow sheet. We have successfully come to the end of the tutorial. To summarize, we defined an absorption column. We simulated the absorption column using CAPE open unit operation. You can repeat the simulation using the following example and I hope this video was useful for you. Thank you.